accomplished yesterday. Uh, the squad's fourth straight weekend with a series win and ninth time overall in 11 weekends. Now the calendar turns over to the final month of the regular season beginning this weekend <coughs> with the Sun Belt Series against Arkansas State. We talked about last week's action. Look ahead to a midweek trip to Houston and a weekend series at home against Arkansas State. Head coach, Paul Cage Baseball, Tony Roach. Thanks, Matt. Uh, you know, this is a busy week for us, so uh, I was really proud of how our players handled it. Uh, we had a, you know, kind of a firefight down at Lake Charles on Tuesday and then got back late from that. Uh, Wednesday, uh, had a game against a good team and then took off at 6.30 in the morning on Thursday morning for, for, for Miami. So it was a busy week for us this week. I thought they did a great job of handling the travel and all of what comes along with, with that kind of week. Uh, not much practice time, um, a lot, a lot of um, trying to stay focused in, in such a busy week. I thought we did a great job of that. And realis realistically, uh, you know, we just if we play a little better defense on Friday, you know, we we have five and zero week instead of a four and one week. So um, positive side, we we're able to come back after the Friday loss and be able to take care of business on Saturday and Sunday. Um, this week we're off today. Uh, they'll head into. Uh, Houston on Tuesday, which would be good for a bunch of our Texas players to, to be able to go home and play back close to their home. Uh, Matt Plitt will get that start for us. Do well against Southeastern last week. And then um, probably another day off on Wednesday. And then we're headed down the stretch with a workout on Thursday and then three games this weekend. So we've got about, I think, ten left to go. Um, we got we got to make these last ten count. So uh, open the floor for questions you might have. I know you guys have done a lot of debating on Wilson and how you're going to use him. Where, yes. where do things stand there? Is he going to stay in that weekend rotation or close or just play it by ear? Uh, we'll, we'll play it by ear. We're going to take Matt, take a look at Matt's start <coughs> tomorrow night and then see how that works out too. So we'll just we'll just play it by ear right now and and uh, we might end up doing the same thing we did this weekend. Um, we'll see. Uh, but we're, we're still a little bit undecided right now what we're going to finally do. We like him out of the pen. I think that's where his, his strongest suit is. He's kind of got uh, a starting role because we got th so thin in pitching. Uh, if we could get somebody to step up and have him stay at the pin, uh, with him and Hicks in the pin, we, we, just, we, just, we just become really rock solid. But I don't know if we'll be able to do that. We'll see as we go into this weekend. Coach, it's um, always tough to start a series off with a loss on Friday night. You always want to take those. but. Uh... Losing those type of games is always tough, and it makes it makes it hard for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, it does. You, you hate dropping Friday because most of the time you've got a, you know, a, an arm on the mound that's got a low ERA. Of course, they got an arm on the mound that's got a low ERA too. That's why we're trying to match up on Friday. The big thing you got to do with low ERA guys is, is play good defense. And um, you know, we started off the game with with a, we kicked the ball, and then as the game wore on, we kicked one or two more balls, and then. We had chances throughout the game, lead off triple. We failed to get a tack on run. Um, so, so you know, all the way around, we just we, we just could have done better. Um, we we, we could have got out of a couple innings as a pitching staff better. We could have got off the field defensively a little bit better, and we could have scored a couple more runs. And and when you don't do that, uh, you end up falling victim to to that to that close loss, which we did. But I give the players a lot of credit. They came back the next two days and. With a lot of focus and, and, and got after it uh, like we, we, we should have done on Friday night. Uh, we, we let that game get away from us. We still had a chance at the end. We had a funny little pop up that fell that, that we should have handled as a pitcher. And uh, if we handled that pop up as a pitcher, who knows? We go into the bottom of the ninth win and uh, with Hicks on the mound. But, you know, pretty good weekend when you close your throws just 10 pitches for the whole weekend and you win two out of three. So I thought the pitching staff really pitched well this weekend. Um, glaring thing was was we, we hit, but I think the more we can pitch, I think it, it's easier it becomes to hit too. And I said that at the beginning of the year that I thought we'd hit. It's just a matter of how good we pitch. And um, when you when you look at us, I mean we're six arms down. You go take six arms off somebody's staff right now. We're fortunate to be where we are. The guys that are that are that are really hanging on for us have been huge, um, and we're sitting with ten left to go. So uh, we got to just make these count. Talked about kind of that you know one play being the difference on Friday, and that's happened a couple of times in weekend series. Yes. Is that a point of concern, or is you just chalk that up to baseball? No, I, I just I just think that uh, you know it, it, 
one good thing is it hasn't happened all year. It's happened once or twice, but I just think it's a focus issue. I think Saturday and Sunday we were better focused in all three areas, not just one or two areas. And I think when you know you deal with an eighteen-year-old kid, I think uh, the more focused they are, the, the better they're going to be. And I just think we could have been focused a little bit better on Friday uh, to handle what occurred. It was all self-inflicted. So you know, again, I give them credit for being able to come back and and take care of Saturday and Sunday, and hopefully we can learn from that too and realize the difference we are uh, when we're focused in all three areas versus just one or two areas. Tony, your guys have gone from a team that really struggled to score runs last year to a team that's leading the nation in slugging right now. Can you talk about any other like one season turnarounds that you've had as far as swinging the bats like this? Not really. I, I think, you know, the big thing that, that culminated, I think, is that, again, you know, we, we brought in a bunch of freshmen, and these freshmen are just a lot stronger now and more physical And Jace Conrad and Leonard's strengths. You still have, I mean, outside of the three influx, the three junior college guys, everybody else is somebody from last year. Um, um, but they're, I think they're a year stronger in our strength program. I think Jake does a great job in our strength program. We've, we've culminated with a lot of, 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 of late sophomores, uh, with, with um, Harrison being redshirted, uh, but he's a sophomore, Strengths being a sophomore, but being redshirted, and then we had a good influx of junior college transfers. Our three junior college transfers as hitters have done a phenomenal job, and Kerstad, Harrison, um, and uh, Adams, those three guys, and Adams is just a sophomore. Um, and the greatest thing is, is we, we're going to be even stronger next year, another whole year in the weight room, and they'll have the system down even better, and we don't lose a position player. Um, and then I think it's, it's the influx of Coach Deggs. I think his, his approach to teaching hitting has been very good, and I think you've got some, some uh, strength mixed with experience, mixed with a better attitude at the plate. And, uh, when, when, when you swing with attitude, a lot can happen. And, and I really believe that's the benefit of our hitters. I, I just think we, we, we swing with a lot of attitude. And, um, and because of that, you add all those three things up, um, you're going to be a lot better than you were the year before. Um, but a lot of the guys in that lineup, you know, Butler was from here, it was last year. He was here. Strengths was here. Um, Leonard's was here. Uh, Conrad was here. We got a true freshman at shortstop who's a very good player um, and can hold his own as a freshman. And then the influx of the three junior college guys mixed with Wilson, who we, we still you know, can't even get in the lineup as a hitter. Um, and, that's, and that's having Compton struggling, who had a great year last year. So I, I just think you know, the, the influx of the three junior college guys have really helped us mix with the age of the returners and then the freshman being able to play above his age mixed with, I think, their approach and their attitude um, at the plate. You mentioned, oh, we talked kind of on the focus, does, does it help with this final month of the season having two weekend series at home? ULM, you, you imagine you're going to be locked in for a series like that you know, with the conference tournament here at home. The, the month kind of sets up well for you to, to be locked in towards the postseason? I think so. You know, the, this month's been, been, been uh, really hard on travel and the school work, the focus issues that go into it, um, a lot of makeup work, a lot of work that they're trying to get done. You also head down the stretch where, you know, school's not an issue. You'll come out of school and now be able to concentrate just really on baseball. Um, I don't say that as that that's the importance over the academic side, but it's just we're off from the academic pressure and the mind of, of having to do all their work and stuff. So, yeah. I think it does. Uh, we get to settle in a little bit, you know, with this last road trip. This would be a good RPI game for us. That's important tomorrow night. Uh, the players have done a good job of trying to protect their RPI. And then having the two here, and then not a very far trip for the last game. We're back, we back pretty quick. So, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, I think we've got to take advantage of this time we have on our hands coming up. I think we get back into a little bit more of a practice mode. Um, and, and get back to a little bit of the consistency that we were able to have before we hit all the travel in, in last month. Coach, what is it about this group? And you just named, you know, those transfers that you talked about, Harrison and Dax and uh, 
and Adams, and of course if Wilson showed early in the season that he could swing the bat as well. Um, it seems like every year, you know, when we get transfers in most programs, you're going to have a few that are going to struggle, and maybe they don't get it to the end of the year, or maybe the next year. Uh, you have a real good group in 99 and 2000. It seems like this group kind of clicked right away, similar to those two groups. Well, I, I, that's a good point. I think that, that always occurs, you know. And I think it's a lot of it's timing. You know, when junior college guys are brought in with a bunch of young freshmen, um, a lot of pressure gets put on them to carry the load. I think this class, they got mixed with a lot of guys that had experience. And, and Strength's coming back, Compton coming back, Leonard's coming back. Um, all the guys that were coming back, Jace Conrad that was coming back, we had so many position players coming back that we felt had got so much experience as freshmen. Even though the record was bad, they got a lot of experience, a lot of playing time. And, um, you know, sometimes there's a thing called an invisible climb. You know, you can't see somebody's climbing, but, but invisibly they are climbing. And I think it happens in sport all the time because people focus so much on the record in the past, they lose sight sometimes of something that's actually getting better. And I really believe these, these, these former guys really drew a lot. Just because, you know, you lose doesn't make you a loser. And, and I think they gathered a lot from last year's season. And then when those junior college guys came into here, I just think their age just matched up really well to where they didn't have to carry the load. And then I think the burden got spread out. You know, I've said this 50,000 times when they build a bridge, they don't try to put all the stress on one part of the bridge. They try to, you know, spread the stress out. And then and I think this year's team's done a very good job of spreading the stress out. The freshman is not out there shivering in his boots because he has to carry the team because the guy in front of him is not hitting. Um, in fact, he's working his way up the lineup instead of out of the lineup. And I, that's because I think we we're, everybody's protected in the lineup. And now you got a guy like Butler and Strengths hitting the seventh and the eighth hole. Um, I just think it's it's just a good, balanced, strong lineup with attitude, one through nine, and I think it's a wearing down of the pitchers. Uh, I've said this before. I saw it all fall when we pitched against them. Um, there was there was no easy inner squads. Uh, we have had some inner squads in the past where pitchers were scheduled to throw three innings, 15 pitches an inning, 45 pitches, you know, through 2020, and then to go down to the bullpen and throw some more. Again, in an inter-squad game, we had Caleb Adams hooked up against Austin, and Austin, I think, threw 19 pitches uh, to, to, before he could you know, go to the next hitter in the lineup. And I think that's been the big difference in this team. If you watch how many times this weekend we scored so many two-out runs, um, they, they, they don't quit, they keep coming, which is a good thing. And I just think if we can pitch behind it and just, just have some guys continue to step up and give us some depth and, and pitch with this, um, you know, it's something that we, last year we always pitched against somebody else's pitch and we tried to beat them on the mound. Now, you know, we can get caught in a firefight like we did at, at McNeese. I mean, I don't know if we can win that game last year at McNeese. And this year, you know, you can get caught into a firefight and still be able to hang on. Do I want to be in that every night? No. But there are nights you'll get caught in it, and I think we're, we're that much better. So I just think it's a great balance. It's a good mix of speed and strength up and down the lineup. Uh, we're faster so that sometimes when we hit a bobble or a nupper and it's a close play, we outrun it, which extends an inning, which brings another good hit of the plate with attitude with the inning extended. So those are the things that you want in a, in a, you know, in, in a good hitting team, and I think we have a lot of things. Um, that make us just a good hitting team. We just got to keep pitching like, like hopefully we did this weekend. That was a good team we pitched against on the road. I mean, they're right behind us in home runs. Uh, the ball does travel there. The first two days, the wind was blowing a little bit, but on day three, the ball could get out of there. I think we gave up one home run in, in the three games. So, so hopefully, you know, we can keep the ball in the ballpark and keep pitching. Was uh, Gerard able to sit out long enough Fully healthy, or will he just I don't know if he'll ever be fully play? healthy, but he's 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 going to play. Um, we we uh, we played him Saturday and Sunday, tried to give him as much rest as we could. He's got a brace now that Brian Davis, our trainer, has done a great job. He's got a brace on that, on that left knee for him, um, and he'll just have to be smart. You know, he had an inside the ballpark home run that that became a triple. Um, He's going to have to be careful on, you know, ground balls hit right at somebody uh, to just hang in there um, and, and just be smart about it. Uh, we got really up on Saturday and got him out a little bit to try to save some of him for Sunday. 
but he's he's kind of the energy of our team. He he's been that away, um, and, and we're, we're I think we're a lot better team when when Tyler's in the lineup. Get get five home runs on Sunday, and really kind of home runs. You mentioned it kind of been theme, at least offensively, for you guys. Are you surprised by the amount of power you had? I know you always talked that last year that you felt an offensive increase would happen, but at this rate, has it kind of taken you by surprise? Well, again, we saw it in the fall. We hit home runs in the fall. I mean, I guess it's because we were so anemic last year to this year. It's really like a like this, you know, big deal, um, like we're using magic bats. But uh, it's the same bats we used last year. The difference is it's the person holding it. I mean, he's swinging it with attitude. And, and when you swing with attitude and run into something, it's usually going to go a lot further than you, you run into something swinging, you know, trying to feel your way through the hitting zone, hoping that you don't fail. Hope's not their plan. Um, they, they swing hard, and, and they keep coming every inning. We hit more home runs in the fall, which I was worried because it doesn't speak well for you pitching. Um, I go home mad every day in the fall, so I have no way to win because if the pitchers do good, I'm mad because we can't hit. If we hit real good, I go home mad because we can't pitch. So both sides of me all fall worry. Uh, and, and in this fall, we had we saw a lot of power. We saw a lot of hitting. Um, we didn't know how much it would translate, you know, but, but it's not something that shocks us. Um, I just think it's shocking probably because of where we were last year. Um, and, and, and I just think we had a fresh fall. We had a great influx of, of, like I said, the three junior college kids that came in, and, and they all have strength and speed. Um, it was one of our biggest plans after the Monroe game was to go out and bring in strength and speed, and, and we felt that we could go find strength and speed with his approach and hitting. Um, those two things, those two things can make a difference, and I think that's what we're really seeing right now is that difference in strength and speed, um, mixed with some age, mixed with the good strength program and swinging with a lot better attitude than we did the year before. Any questions? Thank you.